Hey fellas, COVID-19. Everywhere I go, they either say the fatality rates are increasing or the stock markets are crashing. And by the end of the day, we have to hear everything from celebs asking us to stay home to absurd Facebook posts sent by some random uncles to my parents. Yeah, you get it. It's annoying that it's everywhere. Prevention is a good measure, but practically, we need a cure. We can approach this like how people approach Marvel movies and DC movies, or like how people approach types of parenting. So, number one is allopathy, and number two is Ayurveda. Now, speaking of allopathy, it was significant that news surfed around a specific drug going by the name dexamethasone. It was formerly used for anti-inflammatory measures and later now optable to cure the respiratory virus. In the trial led by a team from Oxford University, about 2,000 hospital patients were given dexamethasone and were compared to 4,000 who weren't. For patients on ventilators, it cut the risk of death from 40% to 28%. And for patients needing oxygen, it cut the death risk from 25% to 20%. Its main function is to treat conditions like inflammation and adrenal insufficiency, which relatively help in the recovery process. Now speaking of therapy, the stem cell therapy had also had significant impact in curing the patients. It involves taking samples from the patient's blood and reintroducing them after activating it. Now speaking of Ayurveda, most of the medications prescribed by the Ayurvedic practitioner can be made at home, which is greatly advantageous. A simple recipe is having ginger, cinnamon and cardamom tea. These herbal teas boost the energy and the metabolism of the human body. So why do these ingredients matter to our body? For starters, these spices help keep our body less vulnerable to the virus. If someone asks me what is my idea, I would like to develop a virus resistant suit, which is safe, eco-friendly and also at the same time crucially affordable so everyone gains access to it. So we all can resume back to our normal lives. Act dumb but stay smart. Thanks for your time.